Many of us are rushing through life, trying to make it through each day, and we're often left feeling exhausted and like we have no margin left over for the things we love. But imagine if you made room in each day to pursue your passion and feed your creative heart and soul. It can be done. And I'm here today with Jessica Turner, author of The Fringe Hours, and we're going to talk about how to make the most of those hours that most of us think we have lost. So I'm so happy to have you I'm here so today. I'm happy to be here. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was having kind of an extra stressful day at home, work mm -hmm. with my kids, and I found myself like sitting in a parking lot, drinking coffee really fast, and thinking there has to be more <laughs> that yes. I can do for myself than this. Right. And so your book came at just such a great time for me. And you talk about redeeming our hours. Right. What does that mean? Right, it's taking back those times that often go underused or wasted mm -hmm. altogether and using them for good to feed our souls and to bring joy to our lives. And if you're intentional about it and you know where those pockets of time are and you start looking for them, it becomes even easier and easier and soon it just becomes part of your regular lifestyle. Yes. Well, I love the part in your book, and I kind of brought your book to life a little bit here I love today. This. But um, I love the part in your book where um, you encourage women to make an inspiration board. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I did an inspiration board it. over here. So and fun. I did have so much fun. And, um, like, you know, I feel like I'm pretty creative most of the time. But mm -hmm. just to sit down and really think about what inspires me, what makes me happy, right. why is that important for us to mm -hmm. do that? It's important because it's a tactile process and you're taking that time mm -hmm. to sit just like you did yes. and really think about it, really be intentional about what we love, really bringing it to life. You can certainly do it on Pinterest as well, but yes. I'm with you. I think the tactile <laughs> process is a lot of fun. Yes, and after I did this, I wanted to like redecorate the house. So my Ready? husband's like, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> but it was a really good exercise, I felt. And I felt like this then led me um, to the next step, and that's like pursuing our passions and what right. we love to do. So I have a few things here, like I love photography and gardening. So this reminded me of these things. Right. And so why is it important for us to not just think about these things, but then have these things in our life that we do? Right. We have to actually go from the thinking about to the doing, to actually making that time and doing it. Because if we don't, then you kind of get grumpy that you're not doing it. You know, like I said in the last segment for me, reading is a big one. Yes. And when I'm not reading, my husband's like, go and read a book, you yes. know? And so for you, that's photography. And you know that when you do that, how that, that just brings such joy to your life. And so you've got to make time to actually do those things. Yes. And I liked in your book, too, I know you love scrapbooking. I do. So I, and I think you said, too, sometimes, you know, your house might not look perfect. It might not right. look how it is. But you still make time in the middle of that to right. do what you love. Right, right. Because not only does it fill me up, but it, particularly with scrapbooking, I think about the legacy mm -hmm. that it's leaving for my family. You yeah. know, they're not going to remember if the dishes sat out one night. But having that tangible piece of evidence of our story and that yes. documenting and the happiness that that you know brought to my life is well worth yes. leaving the dishes. Yeah, so it's also an investment in your family as yes. well. Um, so moving from here, um, you talk a little bit too about our spiritual well-being right. and our spiritual care. And I know in my life that's the part. If I let if I let that go, then everything kind of right. unravels from right. there. Right. So what what do you tell women when it comes to their spiritual investment in time? You know, it's the same thing. You've got to make the time. Um, my mom always said to me, you make time for whatever is important to you. And so I think that as long as we are being intentional and we say, okay, I'm going to wake up. 30 minutes early and I'm going to take some quiet time to pray and then I'm going to do some writing or I'm going to do some reading or I'm going to do some scrapbooking, yes. whatever that is during that time to fuel you up spiritually. And I talk about physically as well, yes. you know, that we need to go to the doctor. We need yes. to take care of ourselves. You know, all of these different parts make us whole and happy. Yes, such great. And I think once we combine all these, these things, um, then we look for pockets of time, right. and, you, and I keep seeing a little pocket <laughs> whenever right. I think I of that. that. But um, and you have some some of the times you suggest are um, in the early morning hours, meal time when your kids have a practice, right. uh, when you're waiting. Do you schedule your pockets of time, or do you find they just happen? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I have gotten to the point where they just happen, and also where I know that they're going to be. So, for instance, in the mornings, waking up early, that hour is I guess scheduled. I just get up at five every day and take that yeah. time for um, my Myself. But then, you know, times of waiting, 45 to 60 minutes a day, we're waiting. Yes. And so we have to be intentional about that so that we're not left with nothing to do when we could be doing something that brought us joy, like reading a book or knitting or doing embroidery or something that you can do while your kids are at practice. Yes. You know? Yeah. So when I see the woman who's at a practice and she's knitting, that's amazing because she's right. like making use of that time. Versus just scrolling on our phones, yes. right? Which is so often what we do when we're waiting. Yes. Let's do something that feeds our soul and brings us joy 
and makes us happier and better moms and better wives and just better overall. Yes, for sure. And um, you did talk in your book too about time wasters and you just touched on that and, and even you mentioned before with Moira, just going through and figuring out what we spend our time on right. is significant and then we know where we have where we have those pockets. Right, and where we maybe shouldn't be spending so much time doing something, you know? Uh, so often women will say to me, you know, I don't have any time, but then they track their time for a week and they notice that they're spending two hours a night watching television. Well, there you go, there's some time that maybe you could be using that a little differently yes. and then the way that you use it would bring you more joy. Yes, ouch, that was one for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's been me too. <laughs> yes, um, also another thing, and I noticed, I think last week on Twitter, you posted a picture, um, you had a babysitter in at your house, while you right. were there so you could mm -hmm. you know do some things and yep. and you say not don't be afraid to ask for help asking from people. for help is so important and I find that the more I ask for help the more I want to ask for help more you yes. know we're not meant to do life alone we're not meant to be these super moms and these superheroes in every area of our life so ask for help and give yourself a little more time to do the things that bring you joy and to do the things that only you can do yes I think that's great and I think you can do that in a creative way and think of how you can make that work when my daughter was in JK I had a friend and we would switch back the girls just one day a week but that right. one day made me feel like you know I had a whole day to myself and, and that was good your for kids me. probably <laughs> enjoyed it too right yes. you're not being a bad mom by having somebody else come in and, and help you yes yes well Jessica it's been great having you here I love the idea of fringe hours and um, when I think of fringe I think of something that's beautiful that's right. added to something and to add a beauty to our time like that, I think it's just so significant. So thanks for sharing these great ideas oh, with us my pleasure. today. Thank you. And Jessica's book, The Fringe Hours, is available from our e-store at crossroads.ca. And you can also check out more of Jessica's creativity at her website at themomcreative.com. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.